Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Requested by one of our Patreon shadows, Yokai Monsters 100 Monsters, which you can stream on Shudder, is the first of the Yokai Monsters trilogy, directed by Kimiyoshi Yasuda, best known for his work on the Zautoichi series. The 100 Monsters of the title partly refers to the endless variety of Yokai, which are a very specific kind of spirit in Japanese folklore, but also to a storytelling tradition. Storytelling is a key part of the narrative, something that instantly endears it to me, and the film opens with a yokai story. Before moving into more real world concerns. Something that really works for me about this film, but which I acknowledge will not work for everyone, is that this is, to some extent, a period drama in which the spirits gradually play a role rather than a story about those hundred monsters. And it's certainly not a versus story. It's actually a bit of a staple, the rich bigwigs turfing out the poor villagers. <laughs> who try to stand up for themselves <laughs> and are aided by a noble ronin. <laughs> giving us some nice fight scenes. <laughs> Even if it doesn't match up to Kurosawa's Yojimbo, which is the giant of this sub-genre. And if you'd like to hear more about that and other Kurosawa films, please join us on Patreon. The other thing I like very much about this film is that the spirits, when they do appear, which they do first in stories and then in the real world, do not, to me at least, and from what I've read this may just be my interpretation, seem to care about the villagers. I don't think they give a damn, but it's their shrine too, it's their story too, and so they take action of their own. But because these are yokai, their actions are not always consistent or even explicable. Some are definitely malign. Some are just here to play. Sometimes we're not even sure if they're supernatural at all. Part of the joy of this film is that the ghosts are simultaneously a part of our world while not necessarily interested in us, unless we do something that affects them. The diversity of the spirits also necessitates a diversity in how they are created cinematically, which makes them seem more diverse. So we have puppetry, people in costumes and makeup, rear projection, and even animation. It's a film that takes joy in the creation and depiction of these creatures and uses them in a way that is both narratively satisfying and true to their origins. Now, this does come with the caveat that if you are looking for a scary ghost story, this is not it. Although a scary ghost story is told. It's not a kaiju film, it's not filled with action nor with ghosts until the end. It's a folk tale into which you can read how the supernatural affects our real lives. If that's your thing, you'll like it a lot. I certainly did. Thanks for watching. What other films show real variety of supernatural creatures? Let us know in the comments below.